Hi, this is Dr. Ben Finio. I'm a lecturer at Cornell University, and in one of my previous Zoom tutorial videos, I got a request to do additional tutorials for mobile devices, since many students who do not have laptops may be calling in on these from home. So I just did one for an Android phone. Now I'm going to quickly do one for an iPad, just to go over how the controls are different. And rather than using screen recording software, I've just aimed my camera at my physical iPad here, so you can easily see what I'm doing with the touch controls. So when I've joined the meeting, I'm in speaker mode here. Mr. Moose is the host, so I'm seeing a large picture of him and my thumbnail down in the bottom right. You'll notice that there were no controls on the screen. You need to tap the screen to bring the menu up, and it will automatically collapse again after a certain period of time. I'm going to briefly unmute my own video so you can see me. I'm kind of sitting behind a camera here, so I'm going to keep that turned off for now. And if you want to switch to gallery view, unlike the phone where you would swipe left and right, here, when you tap the screen, I do get a button that comes up that says switch to gallery view. So when I push that, I can see thumbnails of everybody. If I want to switch back to the teacher view, I click on speaker view. To access functions like the participants list and the chat, again, you have to tap to open the menu, and you can open those from the upper right. So if I click on participants, I get this pop-up window with all the participants. You can also access the chat, either by clicking participants and then clicking chat, or go to more and access the chat directly from there, where from here you could type a message like hello. That will then be sent to everyone. And notice that tapping away from the chat window does not exit or get rid of it. You have to tap close in the upper left to close the chat again. When Mr. Moose starts sharing his screen, the PowerPoint content takes over the main part of the screen. I get a thumbnail of Mr. Moose in the lower right. I can tap on him to swap those, tap on the PowerPoint again to switch them back. If I want to see everyone, I can expand this by hitting the little plus sign. This gives me a list of all the thumbnails at the bottom. I can swipe left and right to see everybody. If I want to collapse that, I can hit the minus sign. Notice how that actually collapsed them completely. It didn't take me back to just the one thumbnail of Mr. Moose. If I want to get that back, I hit the little video camera in the bottom right. That brings me back to the single thumbnail. So hopefully that was a useful overview. I'd say the main disadvantage of using either a phone or a tablet is definitely that it is harder to have multiple things open at once. For example, if I want to open the chat window, then that is going to take up most of my screen and I can't easily see the slides. So that is easier if you do have a computer and you want to have multiple things open, but you should be able to access all the content you need on a tablet or a phone. I hope you found that helpful. If you have a question or a request for another tutorial, please leave a comment on YouTube and I'll get back to you. Thanks.